Saturday Night Baseball here on MLB Network as we are live at Miller Park in Milwaukee. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. Javier Baez aims to bring his hitting streak to 25 straight games right after this. Zach Davies will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Leading off hey, he wasn't particularly Cubs. good in his last right one. If you look at the line score, Jason he only Peter. lasted four innings, took the loss. He'll really First be hoping pitch. to turn in a much Pitch better 10. performance in this one. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, Dero, talk about a team that's scuffling right now. I had a chance to talk to the manager before the game. He's not happy. The second. players aren't happy. Yeah, yeah. and just a malaise has kind of come Number over this 16. clubhouse. We had a chance, like he said, to walk through it a little bit. The boys are not jumping around. This is a big game today. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if Kyle Schwarber can keep it going. He was driving in runs like crazy last month. And when you watch how he swings and how he goes about it, you're not at all surprised. I'm looking for him to generate a lot of offense in this one. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And another foul ball. While his hitting streak might be drawing most of the attention, some might not realize he's hitting for real power as well, slugging over 500 for the season. And that's the beauty of it, Matty. He's doing it with damage. It's not the one for four with the ground ball with eyes or the bleeder with no one on that doesn't help the team. This is a guy that's done serious damage from day one of this hit streak, and it's continued. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. I think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. Third. But he left this the one belt base. high. Big mistake. He's a guy that will feast on belt high pitches. On Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now, and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Now at the plate, Anthony Rizzo. Good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here, which sits third best in the National League. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Nice that piece of hit. hitting right there. Looked the like shortstop. the guy on second had to Up respect it and freeze a little oh, yeah. bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get to third base. Here's Javier Baez. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Great job there by this power the hitter. Known four. for driving the ball Wilson. out of the ballpark. Does the, the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Now batting, Wilson Contreras having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. Owen won the count. Rizzo is off of first with two away. Sent on the ground out to second. Mustakis is there. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On Kyle Hendricks is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one.
And with that, time to take a glance at the starting Back nine for these Brewers. The left Mark, fielder. what's your take on him against Zombie. one of the best starters in the game? Fair. Yeah, Matty, every person that bought a ticket tonight came to see one thing, and that's the guy on the mound. But I'll tell you what, from an offensive standpoint, this is what you live for. Who's going to make the adjustments offensively to put quality at bats against this guy? Do they have to get him early? Can someone work themselves into a big count to drive a ball in the gap late? I am so fired up to see this offense take on this monster. Behind 0-2 now. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Now the pitch. Batting third, the right fielder. Little chopper Christian. back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. At the plate, Kyle Schwarber. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Well, this hitting streak is just the latest development in what's been an impressive offensive year for him. He's up among the league leaders in hitting as of today. He's had an amazing season, and you can tell the confidence is oozing off him. When we were down before the game talking to him around the batting cage, you could just sense he wants four ABs and he wants them with runners in scoring position. He's certainly given himself a chance to have a monster season. So here's how the Brewers are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at Travis Shaw. The calling card's the bat. Le Meanwhile now, this is a fair ball down the line in left, and that ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. And he just blasts this thing that down the left field line. I thought it might bend Hi. foul, but it lands Hi. just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good-looking swing. Runner, First runner, pitch runner. of the at-bat. Runner goes for third. Now a bunt attempt foul, here, foul but this is foul for the first strike. Runner, runner, Runner's runner. on his way to third. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batting, right fielder. Here's Jason Hayward now. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. He took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock 16. right up the chute there. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders. Runner. But that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit. And, a no and he's into second safely with a stolen base. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Hayward isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. The tag from Grandal, and they get him at home play. First offering on its way. For the Brewers. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. Love jumping out to an early 3-0 lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. Popped up. Therefore, it is Baez, and he's got it for the first out. Batting and third that baseman. brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. Shaw. Nope. Low for ball one. Back-to-back -back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One out, nobody on. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. Batting six, the second baseman. Fouled Mike. off. Moose Dawkins. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Two out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. Gone. Stepping in, Chris Bryant. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Drilled right back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. So he's on base here to kick off their half of the third as we take a look at the league leaderboard in hits. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Anthony Rizzo. He singled his last time up. Bryant gets his lead at first, nobody out. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Kane. He tracks it down, a nice running play, and there's one away. So a runner at first with one out now. And into bat next, the versatile Javier. weapon, Javier Baez. Ready to going, deliver. Going, Here's the going. first pitch. This is line to left. Pham is over to his right, and he puts this one away for out number two. Now this is cut and thrown to first. Now a throw over to first, but it's not in time. A good the job to get back to the base following the line drive on the hit and run. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher, Wilson Contreras. And he... Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. The next 0 2. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Batting next to bat, Orlando Arcia. His Orlando. matchup numbers with Hendricks. Arcia. He's got five base hits in 24 at bats. And there are two away now. Batting so striding no in, Zach Davies. That. His guy's still looking Davies. at a zero in the hit column. Ah. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. And oh, one and bad. one as this one's in on the hands. The one one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays Whoa, off it to out. even the count two and two. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's tough. 0 for 1 thus the far. Catcher, number 40, Wilson Contreras. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Behind 0 and 2 now. Takes this the other way to right. A dive, but it's off his glove. Up next for the Cubs. Now to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. He flew out in his last at-bat. 
almost Matty almost went deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power he's feeling pretty good at the dish look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB the center fielder digging in the switch hitter Ian Happ he scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat yeah give me a repeat performance of that last double with a man on first right now let him run get you a ribby and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in now early that, counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man He's on the going. mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful now sacrifice. Batting. The right fielder striding Jason in Jason Hayward, Hayward a hit in two tries for him so far from the stretch here's the pitch lifted the other way out to left center after it is Kane he's got it and they get out of the jam unscathed in now is Lorenzo Kane back to the top of the lineup the as they're still the looking Brewers. for their first base runner the in this fielder. one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out Kane. on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Schwarber comes on and makes the, the catch in shallow number left for out number one. Tommy. First delivery yeah. to him on the way. Down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. In is Christian Yelich. Two away in the, the right inning, fielder. and Dan, it looks Christian. like this could be another 1 2 3 hey, inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Popped him up. Bryant in foul ground. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. The next Cub up, Garcia, last time through was a base hit. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the leadoff hitter reaches base safely, and now it's the run producing part of the order with nobody out. Now that here's Chris Third Bryant base. now. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what is he doing? He shows up, Rookie of the Year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Hey, not a bad way to start the nightcap. Three at bats, oh, three base hits, D Row. Yeah, the pressure falls off you after you go one for one. Two for two, all smiles. Three for three, get the party started. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Fouled away. One for two in the ball game thus far. Ready with the 0-1. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The batter, number nine. Stepping up now, Javier Baez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Now batting. Now the Brewers Catcher. manager's up out Wilson. of the dugout on his way to the mound. And Ladies he's and looking to the bullpen Your here, so it please. would appear that's all for now his starter for tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout after right working there. just four and a third, Three and he just didn't one have one. his best stuff in this one. Wilson Contreras is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Hard hit ball to short. Arcia fields it cleanly. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Stepping into the box, Kyle Schwarber. He lined Kyle out in his last trip, Schwarber. so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run.
that's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? Now there are no delete the or rewind fielder. buttons in baseball. Ian. That's a mistake, ha. and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Loud noises right oh, here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Into the box now, Kyle Hendricks. And they elect to have the pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Right fielder. Jason. So in now for Chicago, Jason Hayward, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch, hit hard back up the middle, and that's through into center field, base hit. Now a long throw home, and not in time as the run scores. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive side Number and the 16. offensive side to send him, and the outfielder made a strong, accurate throw. But that runner was safe. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking your a lot of things. You're trying to get through a decision to send a good send in a close play. But it all worked out. I would say the pitcher would tell us up here that that wasn't great execution. But he definitely had him off balance. That is a pitch in his arsenal that he can go to. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that is. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that now may be a tall it. task, Third but they feel the little adjustments Brother. could lead to things turning around for them. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Set to deliver the 0-1. Lifted the other way to left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter. The second Digging baseman. in now for the Brewers, right. Mike Moustakis. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up. Back now for the start of the sixth inning, and we send it down to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Cubs lineup with manager Joe Madden, and he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. They've obviously got a double-digit total in the hits column, but perhaps just as impressive is that they've not struck out a single time today. That's about as rare as it gets in today's sport. So they have a lot to feel good about right now, Matt. All right, Heidi, thank the you. First baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Anthony Rizzo. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. Yeah, that was amazing. Kind of completely caught us off guard up here in the booth. Don't expect the same thing. We pay this guy big to dollars car. to drive the ball in the gap. Up. Look for him to swing up the bat there. right here. Bye, yeah. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. Two out, nobody on. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. After it is Yelich, and no one will track it down. Grounded to short. Garcia has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this. At the plate, Yosmani Grandal. And he'll try to start things out here for the Brewers in their half of the sixth. Yosmani. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. Ah. 
Yeah. There's strike two as it catches the outside corner. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Here it comes on nothing and two. And a breaking ball is bounced out towards second. Throw on to first oh. in time, one away. The batter, number three. Stepping in and ready Short for stop. another shot, Orlando, Orlando Arcia. He got on top of one Arcia. and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Maddie, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here, similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. One ball and two strikes to count. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's the second out. Now wow, what a great the show of range there. This ball looked like it might it's get through up the, the middle, room. but check out the Number spiding nine. stop, and that's going to take him right into a Nira. good throwing position Nira. where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Well, that's a tough pitch. To and he struck him out, so it might be time to begin the countdown as he's... Now Junior Guerra enters room. now in a mop-up role as she'll try to keep the deficit right where Junior. it is. Guerra. First pitch on its way. Drives it the other way to deep right. Yelich going back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes now in the game, he wants to get that two. first strike so Kyle. bad that he serves Four, one up, and that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall, and now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. Line towards center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he's safe. Yes, he beats the throw. The and that will bring in the eight. Pittsburgh area native Ian, Ian Happ. Happ. First delivery to him on the way. Deep and he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Yeah, this guy's having a good day right there. You can tell he is all over. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff is going to have to find a way to attack him a little differently. And there's a base hit on the line. In to score, the runner from third. Sometimes it's hard to explain oh, when a game is this tough. lopsided. A lot the of pitcher. things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad run, defense, run, some going. shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Aguilar is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Up next for the Cubs. Into the box the right now, fielder. Jason Hayward, Jason previously Hayward. against Junior Guerra, just three for 14. First pitch coming, here it is. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Ready now, Lorenzo Kane. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Chopped toward the second baseman. And that's out number one. Now batting, left fielder. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. The difference between 0-1 and 1-0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. And Hayward will put this one away for route number two. Up next for Milwaukee. Striding in right once fielder. again, Christian Yelich. Yeah. He's hitless in the game, ah, as Yelich. is much of the rest of his team. No balls and a strike to count. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. You got to throw that one out the window if you're an offensive player right there. You know this guy is predominantly a sinker ball pitcher. High fastball, he's got to show me that a few more times for me to honor it. The next 0 2. Fouled off. Oh, 
Left side. Bryant is up with it. And the throw just oh. does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Digging in. Garcia, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Number six. First pitch of the at bat. No balls in one strike. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw. And he is out at third. And that's a big mistake there leading off the inning. Up next for the Cubs. Striding the into the box. Baseman. Chris Bryant. Chris. He's got three Bryant. hits including a double to this point. A bouncer to the left side. And in the left field for a one out hit. Sometimes you got to pull out the ambush tactic. You don't know what the best pitch is going to be. Oh, oh, baseman. right there. Get Anthony me a knock through the left side. Rizzo. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. High in the air out to center field. Kane is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And digging in now to try it again. Javier Baez. Javier He's working on a one Baez. for three thus far. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Pham going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Ready for another shot now. Jesus Aguilar. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Popped straight up. Hendricks waits on it. One down. Now batting. The third now baseman. Now with the play, Travis Bradley. Shaw. It was a fly out for Shaw. him in his last trip. And it's fouled away. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. 0-2 oh to yep. Travis okay. Shaw. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Here's the first pitch now to him. Batting. Second baseman. Sinkers Mike. in there. No balls in a strike. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Ah. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now. Digging in, Wilson Contreras. He'll start things cut. off in the top of the, the ninth as they look for 40. a little insurance. Wilson. Contreras. Hit in the air to right field. After it is Yelich, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Now batting. Less Settling in now, Kyle, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. He comes Schwarber. into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Well, we know what this guy's approach is. He's looking to go absolutely deep right here. I don't see him getting anything over the heart of the plate. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And it's gone as they add still another. So that the was the fielder, third home eight. run for these guys today. Yeah, yeah Matty V, one of the things you look for when you come to a Brewers game at Miller Park, you want to see Bernie Brewer go down the slide, and Bernie Brewer's fanny's got to be a little bit sore after this one. <laughs> Damn, one of my favorite places to hit at. I, I, I always felt like great batter's eye and dead yeah. center. You can move traffic to both gaps. A lot of home runs get hit in this yard. Now batting. So the here now is the pitcher, Kyle, Kyle Hendricks. He got Hendricks. under one and popped out his last time up. Hard hit ball to short. Arcia gloves it. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him. 
Standing in, Yosmani Grandal. Starting things for his side Winning in the ninth the as they face the improbable the odds of Yosemite. trying to come back in this one. Yeah, Grandal. not a lot of hope for them at this point, but these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Hayward is there, one away. The batter, number three. First Short pitch stop. coming, here it is. Orlando. Arcia. Strike one to start the at-bat. The 0-1. Seared down the first baseline. Rizzo is there. And he'll oh. step on first himself for the out. Ryan Braun please. will get the call to pinch hit here Brewers. as we'll see what he can do Number with two eight. out and the base is empty. Oh, yeah. Braun. 281 the average entering play. 11 home runs and 31 RBIs. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. This is why this guy is so effective. He's able to pound the zone, get ahead in the count. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in 